As we get you set for this 79 live from the Harbor TBC on Fox Fight Night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Pacific, we enter our loaded Walter Weight Division 3 Walter Weight Showdowns this Saturday night. Uh, like I said, broadcast begins at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Pacific. It's headlined by Imantis Stanionis, the undefeated Lithuanian, 26 years old. And he is looking to stay undefeated, but it is not going to be easy as he is facing probably the toughest test of his career. A decorated champion, he has fought a who's who on his resume. Uh, Luis Colazzo in our main event, 10 rounds. And then in our co-main event, we see the inter WBA welterweight title on the line as Michael the Fox takes on uh, a decorated Olympian, two-time Olympian from Venezuela. Gabriel Maestri, as uh, that should be an outstanding cold main event. Two up and hungry fighters coming for our cold main event. 12 rounds, like I said, WBA interim title on the line. And then our broadcast opens up. And uh, Devin Alexander the Great, he's had a little bit of a layoff, but he is looking to be back, rejuvenated, and he is looking to get into the win column uh, against. Uh, Luke Santa Maria, so like I said, it all comes your way this Saturday night. And it is promoted by TGB Promotions as well as Warriors Boxing. Tickets are still available at Ticketmaster as well as uh, the Armory here in uh, Minnesota at the box office. I want to thank our promoters again. Like I said, Brittany Houston, who has helped, been an important part in putting this fight card together. She's always the hardest working woman here in the boxing business, as well as our wonderful co-promoters uh, at Warriors Boxing as well. So now we are going to get set. We're going to turn things over to our fighters as they're going to make their opening comments, and then I'll ask them uh, several questions. Uh, we'll start with our opening contest as we look over to Luke Santa Maria and Devin Alexander, 10 rounds in the multi-weight division. Uh, first off, we'll start with the man that is 11-2-1 with seven knockouts. 32 years old out of Garden Grove, California. He, in 2020, split a pair of fights using the whole world. We're going to be featured in a tight contest, Michael Fox, who is also featured on this card as well. So let's turn it over to Luke Santa Maria. Hey, how are you doing? Good. So, Luke, uh, you want to explain you know, what can fans expect to see from you this uh, Saturday and how excited are you? Looking forward to a fight against uh, champ, former champion Devin Alexander. First of all, uh, great opportunity. I know he's uh, playing, in, playing the ring for a long time, but he has a lot of experience. Um, you know, I just looking forward to putting on a good show, and I know it's going to be a great fight. All right, thank you, Luke. And now we will turn the mic over to a former champion, 27 6 and 1, 14 knockouts. He is a two-division world champion in the super lightweight and welterweight division. He holds victories over Marcus Maidana, Lucas Maltese, and others, just to name a few. And uh, he is looking to get back on track. He has been on a little bit of a layoff since 2019, but now he is rejuvenated. And like I said, he is excited to get this next portion of his career going. Please welcome Devin Alexander the Great. Get back into the top of the team. That's, that's my main purpose of being here. Um, I feel good. I feel strong. I'm, I'm happy. That's the main part. The main part, and I'm happy. You know, happy to be here and get back in there and show up. I see a good couple of years for me to hear. So just taking one fight at a time. I got to worry about Lucas. 
Uh, Saturday night, other than that, you know, I just want to thank everybody in the way I said it with the car, cut the car, the car just ready to, ready to go Saturday night. Over there. Well, we look forward to seeing you guys, uh, Devin. And first off, Devin, uh, you, you mentioned that you were working with some of us from you Saturday night. I mean, you are a two division champion. Um, you haven't fought since 2019. What is something that maybe fans haven't seen from you that you've added to your game over this layoff um, that we'll see Saturday night? What they'll see, um, they'll see Saturday night. I can't see. But, you know, I'm going to enjoy the car. Just know you're going to enjoy the fight. Um, I'm definitely out there. I'm back to being myself. I like to be myself. Uh, bad disposal for power. Boxer puncher. That's, that's what I'm known for. That's what I'm going to be. That's what I'm going to be doing for everything. Well, we look forward to seeing it. And, and now you're you're having your fight back against Luis Santa Maria. Um, what do you see in him that you believe can push and bring out the best in you? Yeah. Uh, I mean, this, this is his biggest opportunity. Yeah, his career. So, of course, well, I'm pretty sure he's ready. He's going to come to fight. Pretty sure anybody, anybody I fight, anybody I fight, I'm gonna come ready. You know, I got a name, I'm a champion, yada, yada, yada. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna be ready. So uh, he brings up any time a fighter steps into the ring, getting those ropes, he's gonna, he's a threat. So you gotta take it as such. I gotta utilize it, frankly. And so calm and calm their down and take care of it. That's all I do. And for you, Luke, uh, you know, like he, he even knows, I mean, this is a huge opportunity for you. What would a win over a guy like Devin Alexander do for your career? I don't know. A win would put me, you know, where everybody wants to be on top. And like I said, you know, I train, I train everything. So, you know, we're ready. We're ready. And, but a win would be in mean, every game. What can five fans expect from your fight Saturday night? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be in there, you know, I'm going to be in there doing my thing, and it's going to be a great fight. Well, what a fight we got to open things up here in Minneapolis. The fans are always excited. I am sure we're going to have an electric atmosphere, as we always do at the Armory, one of the better fight towns here in this country, and you can see me home here in Minneapolis. Uh, and now we move over to our goal main event as we take a look at Gabriel Maisley against Michael Fox. This is for the interim and WBA Walter Wade's title. First off, we'll start with the man 22 and 2 and 5. Wings coming by way of a knockout. He is a towering Walter Wade. I mean, as you see him, if you've seen him already uh, standing, I mean, he's long, he's rangy. Um, he won three straight fights before uh, jumping a very close decision against the, the man um, over to his left, uh, Lucas Santa Maria, back in 2020. And he is looking, he's been active, he's been calling for a fight, and he did get one on short notice. And I'm sure he is more than excited to get going. So please welcome Michael Fox. <laughs> Michael, just talk about, you know, this Saturday, how excited are you to get going? Um, and, you know, like I said, you've been calling for a fight, and now you got one. I'm very excited. You know, uh, I did the backup thing a couple times, but when you come through, you win, you do everything, and you don't fight it, I mean, it's, 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 it's stale, it's stale. I mean, you know what you come to do, but you don't get to fight. I'm a, I'm a fighter. I'm a boxer. 24 fights. I'm going to fight for this one good time. Or, oh, yeah. And now you will get that opportunity that's not going to be easy. And as we turn things over to your opponent, who is undefeated 3 and 0 with three knockouts, a two time Olympian from his native country, Venezuela. Um, he has an extensive amateur career. So, don't let the 3 and 0 fool you. He has plenty of experience. And in his amateur career, he's all victories over guys like Brian Castano, who we know is one of the top uh, super welterweights. And then Carlos Adamas was another top contender as well. And he is making his United States debut um, this Saturday. 
So please welcome Gabriel Meister and also welcome his translator as well. So he is going to translate the <laughs> Okay, you just talk about, um, like I asked Michael, what are you excited for here in Indianapolis making your U.S. debut? The crowd is going to be amazing. Um, what are you excited about coming to stateside? Eh, sobre la emoción de estar aquí en este combate tan importante. Hola, muy buenas tardes. Eh, bueno, mira, me, muy emocionado, de verdad que muy contento. Agradecerle primeramente a Dios por esta oportunidad que me está dando. Y bueno, nada. Estoy contento, emocionado de estar aquí y esperando el día 7 para, 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 para dar un buen espectáculo aquí en, en, en Minnesota ¿no? para que toda la gente aquí de Estados Unidos vea. I was very happy, very excited for this opportunity. I want to say thank you to God for the promoters and to God for the opportunity. And I want to say I am ready. I just I worked so hard for this opportunity, and I just want to say to the fans of Minnesota, I am ready to make a great performance this early. Awesome, and we look forward to it. Uh, this question for Gabriel, you know, making your United States debut, many people here have probably haven't seen you, you know, fight. What can fans, if this is the first time that they're seeing Gabriel Maestro fight, what can fans expect? <laughs> Con pocas peleas, ¿qué puede esperar la fanaticada local de Gabriel Maestro? Bueno, mira, van a esperar de, de mí una pelea, una excelente pelea, eh, como le gusta aquí en Estados Unidos, ¿no? eh, como quien dice, la guerra, eh, los golpes duros, de verdad es que soy un peleador que no me gusta, eh, me gusta, o sea, no me gusta estar eh, corriendo mucho, ¿verdad? que espero darle una buena pelea aquí a eso. They can expect great fight, great performance. I know the USA fans and everybody, they like the most. I come from great that. And I really don't like room a lot. So they can expect a lot from me. Well, I'm sure that is something that all the Minnesota fight fans love to hear. Uh, a war in our co main event. Uh, for Michael, as we look, you know, you were uh, a labor placement, and uh, we want, we hope that uh, the man that was supposed to fight Gabriel Maestro, and Cody Brawley, uh, as he's recovered from COVID-19, we hope he takes a speedy recovery, so our thoughts are definitely with him. But Michael, you know, I guess it's your short notice replacement, but you've been in the gym, you've been training, you've been ready, waiting for this moment. Do you think that being a late replacement, it plays a little bit to your advantage? Um, yeah, I mean, it does, just the way I, the way I did it. Like you said, I've been in the gym. And I, was already, I was always trying for this power, so it's going to be hard for someone to, you know, flip and play for somebody with my attributes being as tall as I am. Uh, and I have probably a different style for all you know, uh, the I think I hope, uh, hope he makes it uh, risky to recover. But, um, yeah, I didn't, I'm not coming off the couch, so... Uh, I'm good. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go to home as well. If need be. I'm just that I'm just that for our summer. Now this question is for both of you guys. A lot is on the line. Interim WBA welterweight title on the line. Uh current title holder is Minneapolis's own Jamal James. The winner of this, I mean, it, it seems like that would shape up to be the matchup uh against a guy like him. Um what would you think of, of a possible fight for both of you against a guy like Jamal James? We'll start with Michael first. Oh, I figured, you know, you got a full West away card on the uh, on the docket in Minnesota this on the time. I figured y'all fish my opponent's for him anyway. So if I would answer about I was I was for certain about you fight him, you know, and claim the uh WBA title. I mean answer means uh don't want to say answer him off of that time off of the time. Uh, fighting Jamal James would be is the only way to do that. If you get to that front row, it's a front row seat in his hometown. It's almost like you don't know where you sit on the couch while I'm up and I watch him at the school. And as for you, Gabriel, Gabriel, pelear el título interino de Alberto pone la línea para Jamal James. ¿Qué pensaría de esa aventura de pelear? Bueno, sí, me encantaría, la verdad, que fue el equipo con Jamal James. Thank you, Gabriel. Uh, 
and Jamal James. So for sure, I would love to find Jamal James, but first and first, we need to find Michael Fox. I already to show the people what I got, and let's see what's next for me after the survey. Jordan Gabriel Maestre is predicting a war Saturday night, co-main event, 12 rounds, WBA interim Walter Waits title, and I'm sure the Minnesota Live fans are very much looking forward to that one. And now we move over to our main event as we take a look over Imantis, Sanionis, Luis Colazo, 10 rounds, welterweight showdown. First off, we'll start with uh, the man, 39 and 8, 20 knockouts. He is a former world champion. When you look at this guy's resume, I mean, he has fought the top of the top names uh, in boxing. I'm talking Keith Thurman, Shane Mosley, Amir Khan, Andre Burzo, Ricky Hatton. This goes on and on. He is no stranger to the bright lights, and the bright lights will be on at the Armory in our main event. And he headlines another main event uh, from Brooklyn, New York. Please welcome Luis Colazzo. Saturday night, you know, it's been a long road, and um, it's eager to get back in that ring and come Saturday. Well, we look forward to seeing you, Luis, and your opponent has a difficult test ahead of him. He is undefeated from Lithuania, 13-0, nine by knockout, uh, 26 years old. He has been one of the more exciting up-and-comers uh, in the PPC's welterweight division. He's coming out of the 2016 Olympic Games, and he just scored a career-best victory in a 12-round decision over Thomas Delorme back in April. He continues to stay active, and he continues to take on these challenges because Luis Galazzo is going to be a very difficult test for him, and he does not care. He wants the best of the best, and he is certainly going to get another opportunity to prove that as well, why he deserves to be one of the bigger names in the welterweight division. Please welcome Nemanzis Stanionis. Stanionis, uh, how excited are you? You're headlining another battle here in Minneapolis, and it's an all welterweight card. Um, how excited are you against a guy like uh, Luis Colazzo and his resume to uh, put on a show? I'm really excited. I fought here in 2019 and the Armory, the people in the South and all the fans are really, really different. They, they like the sport and they do they, they do they you know, they like, uh, you know, a good show. So I'm very excited to know. I'm really, I want to just thank you know, all the BBC family, you know, Richard Chambers, and thank you all, hey, well, for all this opportunity, you know, and Luis Palazzo, like, like everybody saying, you know, he was with the other guys and he's like, he likes to go like five to five, you know, the fight. So this is going to be action back fight, and we're going all in, you know, and I'm prepared. Well, we look forward to this main event, and as for Stanionis, you're coming off a victory, probably a linear from your career best victory over a guy like Thomas Duarte, which you pretty much controlled that, uh, a majority of that fight coming off of the victory. What did you learn going 12 rounds with a guy like Duarte, and how much better did that make you? I just woke off the office to go and all the rounds and I just, I, I got tested, you know, like everybody say that I haven't been tested, so I get tested in the fight, but it was what, it was my worst night in the holiday fight. So now I'm 100% prepared and I'm ready to go now. And for you, Luis, I know you are very much looking forward to Saturday night, but you have mentioned that win or lose this possibly could be your last fight. We mentioned, I mean, You've had a storied career. Is this your last fight Saturday night? Um, uh, uh, yes, it is. Uh, you know, uh, not for personal reasons, the good part of it just is over with. It's getting overwhelming, and uh, especially as a part of you can't go to the gym and enjoy it, knowing that you know you just not gonna get that break. So after this one, but again, come Saturday, I'm gonna come in and bring everything I got. At the end of the day, I'm keeping my name on the board. And you're facing a guy who has a lot of hype around him. He's undefeated. He's one of the names that is, like I said, is loaded multi-weight division. Does your experience, will that be an advantage for you fighting guys like 
you've been in the championship house, you've been main event meeting before, um, you've been under the bright lights. Will that be an advantage against a guy like Seth Rollins? He's still 26 years old. Well, right now, that's all you got on top of me right now is age. But um, at the end of the day, age don't matter. What you what you do is fight at the same the gym. You know, that's what I do for a living. And, uh, I've been consistent in the gym. And I'm ready. I'm ready to go. There's no excuses. Now, out of all the top guys that you have fought, just from, I'm sure, studying tape and things like that, what have you, how does Sandy Ross compare to some of those top guys that you have fought before? See, that's the beauty of the sport. Man. You can't compare one fighter to another. It doesn't matter. They got similar styles at the end of the day. You got to prepare different. And once they have that bell ring, it's so different. So, like Mike Tyson just said, once you get punched in the face, everything's out the window. It certainly is, and I'm sure there will be uh, a lot of punches being thrown on Saturday night. And as we look over to Sandy Alves, this is an incredible opportunity for you fighting a guy like Colasso again. Um, just bouncing back after a win against a guy like Gourmet as well. It seems like you are starting to kind of build that resume. Um, what are you looking to prove Saturday night? You're undefeated, but, you know, it seems like you do have a little bit of a chip on your shoulder. Yeah, I just have to wait, you know, and just, uh, I want to get the world title shots, you know, because in my country, nobody have so never we don't have like, any world champions, you know, professionals. So I want to make a history and have a good competition on, on Saturday. And I, you know, I want to prove that I can win and I can compete with top guys. If you were to get a victory over Colossal, do you believe that you're, that your next fight, that you want a title shot? Yes, for sure. I think I deserve it. I'm uh, in WBA number one. So I think I deserve it. Oh, and, and as far as this welterweight division, I mean, we're, we're talking some of the biggest names. We got a massive pay per view card in the welterweight division in just a couple of weeks. Manny Pacquiao, Errol Spence Jr., uh, two of the best in that division. And you can just go down the list. We, Minneapolis is on. We just mentioned Jamal James, another uh, top welterweight as well. Keith Thurman, Sean Porter. Uh, the list goes on and on. Where do you see Monsa Sanyonis in that list? You know, I think I can compete. It's my opinion. I can compete with top guys. You know, it's like, you know, as I say, you go to the ring and then when the ring is better, you know, it's, it's a different story. You know, you can think this is favorite, this is favorite. But I like to give, you know, all my heart in the ring, like 100%. We are all there in the ring. And, you know, Fans will be treated. This is in the entertainment sports, and also we are entertainment. So we have to entertain people, you know. So that's it. Well, this card is going to be exciting. We want to thank our fighters. We're going to have them pose, um, and then once they pose, media, if you guys want to uh, grab them, according with Sam, uh, Sam will make sure that you can talk with some of these fighters and, and get a couple of more questions in. Um, for yourselves as well. So we'll bring in the fighters to the polls. I'm sure Sam will organize it. Um, we'll start probably on assuming with our opening battle, Alexander, Sata Maria, if you guys can come over to front center to face off. Our opening bout, PBC on Fox, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Pacific, Kevin, Alexander the Great, Luke Santa Maria, 10 round, Walter Lady Bout. <laughs> this is our cold main event, 12 rounds for the WBA intern, Walter Wade's title, Michael Fox taking on Gabriel Meister. This Saturday night, our co main event, Fox PBC Fight Night Live from the Arlen. Oh, 
And now here is our main event. Ten rounds in the welterweight division. Luis Colazo, Tignoni Montes, Stemiotis. Expect fireworks here in Minneapolis, Saturday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Pacific from the Armory, Minneapolis. Fight fans, we're excited to bring you another card. And we look forward to having everyone out. Tickets are still available at Ticketminister.com and at the Armory. So make sure you get your tickets. As soon as you can. And thank you, Bingo, for coming on out. We appreciate it. Thank you for participating. Bueno, mi gente, ya ahí tienen la conferencia. I'm so sorry. Ahí tienen la conferencia de prensa. Este, voy a estar, este, ya terminando este live. Uh, voy a ver si puedo hacer una de las entrevistas con Colazo y puedo conseguir a, a Gabriel. So, ya ustedes saben, mi gente, estén pendientes a eso. Sigan aquí con el canal Más Algarete. Peace.